All right, what's up, everybody? This is Drake Chili. You know, back once again. I'm gonna just uh, make this a fairly uh, brief and real quick video in regards to show you know just how mindfuck some people are. Um, if you're a United States citizen, you are what they consider a bonded debt slave. That's essentially what you are. Nothing more, nothing less. You are to abide by corporate statutes, corporate policy, and any other thing that you can think of that the legislators. Uh, bill you with so um, this is just a quick proof because I got a lot of people out there that continues to believe that it's not real and that it's some form of bullshit and that um you are not um, considered property you are considered property um, your bond is being traded on the stock exchange for all types of business and commerce um, you are essentially um, a corporate citizen who owes an allegiance to the United States corporation that's chartered out of the city of London by the um, Temple Bar attorneys um, <clears throat> do some research in regards to the bar and who the bar truly is it stands for um, British Accredit Registry so every time that they come up with a new law statute or bill that's essentially what they're doing they're billing you so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some proof in regards to um, just how real this shit is, right? So now, once you get a certified copy of your uh, birth certificate, what you want to do is, and I have mine right here, just give me a second, I'll show you guys if it's not bullshit, but um, what you want to do is, you guys see this red number right here, 103-241, that's essentially my bond number, so... Basically, what you want to do is you want to get that. And sometimes it might be black or red, depending on your state. You want to go ahead and put that in, right? And then you want to put the issue date, which is the month of the year that you were born. I'm sorry, the month you were born and then the year. So you want to put that in the issue date. And see, mine pops up right here. So now back in 89, well, I'm sorry, let me change the denomination. You want to go to 10,000. That's the denomination. Hold on one second. Okay. Alright, here we go. Alright, here it is, right here. So the initial listing price on the stock exchange was for five thousand twenty-five dollars. Um the interest that is collected in my years since I've been living has been $13,479.06. The year to date interest is $715, which was recently stopped out because I put an end to that shit. I notified the Department of Commerce that this is my property. It belongs to me. They are not authorized to take out any more loans against it. It's not theirs. It's my shit. So, um, basically, this is essentially it right here. Um, if you haven't notify the Department of Commerce, the Department of Treasury, as well as um, the Department of uh, Immigration, because you are considered a citizen, right? A 14th Amendment citizen. So if you still haven't notified them that you no longer want to be a citizen and you no longer consider their property, they're assuming power of attorney over you. This is why when you kill somebody, um, the United States is always issued as the plaintiff or the victim as opposed to the actual victim because they're representing the victim because the victim had a debt that was supposed to be paid throughout their lifetime so um, they were injured in fact because you killed them so I mean this shit is more deep man it just depends on how how much time and how much energy one wants to invest in finding out what the fuck is really going on um so i mean shit this is pretty much it man this is this is proof showing you guys man that uh you guys can get caught up in this matrix if you want to but uh you will soon find out that you know all of these constitutional rights and shit like that that you think you have psh, you're gonna get you're gonna find out real soon and you're gonna get yourself real hurt out here if you don't up your IQ on this shit. I can promise you. This is what it's coming down to. You guys <laughs> Hey, I'm telling you, if you don't find out what they are doing, you're gonna get hurt. Trust me. 
and you're going to continue to get ran over in life and you're going to continue to find out why is it me why is it me how is it that the government can go ahead and you know do all of these things to us as a civilization and get away with it and first of all if you don't even know what's going on then you just you seriously have a whole bunch of homework to do and you seriously have a whole bunch of you know reading to do and catching up to do um as of right now man i mean this is this is previous because uh the last maturity is supposed to be in 2019 but like i said i put an end to that shit so they're not accruing anything because it belongs to me man they sent me a confirmation letter telling me that you know okay hey we're relinquishing that motherfucker to you and you know that's pretty much it. I don't want to show that because it has too much personal information on there. And this is going to be a public video. But uh, you guys just need to up your IQ on what the fuck is going on, man. You are... They issue the birth certificates on bonding paper. You know. Um, and you are essentially a bonded debt slave. So you need to go ahead and... <sighs> Do your own research, man. That's all I can tell you guys. Don't get caught up in the matrix. Anyway, this is a short, quick, brief video that I wanted to go ahead and throw out there for you guys. But if you have a certified copy of your birth certificate, you go to Treasury Direct, and then you type in bond calculator behind that. Um, the serial number for the bond is usually in red or black ink. It's usually on the top right-hand corner of some birth certificates or the bottom left, depending on which state you were born in. But you can see your worth to the United States Corporation. Now, everything is hypothecated um, as well. So um, usually they start off at about a million. So the total value is about $18 million, you know, in which they are damaged. So if somebody was to do anything to me... Um, this is how they get people in jail because they make money when you die but then they make they lose money when you die as well because they weren't able to collect via the IRS so they are in fact the injured party I don't even want to go down that rabbit hole man this shit is so deep but anyway like I said just do your own research it's a tad bit little seven minute video man you guys go ahead and enjoy the rest of your day that's just my little you know, synopsis for the day, but have a good day, everybody. Take care.